Hello everyone and welcome back to Spore! We are here with the Finna, our tap dancing slugs who are busy exploring space and spreading the seeds of life throughout the universe. And we need to rush down onto this itty bitty little, little planet of ours because we have another Grox problem. Alright, let's get some antimatter missiles up in here. That's right, let's put you there. Boom! Take some of that and... Proton missiles? I can never remember which ones. Thank you, little thing. Which ones are needed? Effective at enemy spaceships. Good! Alright, so let's go destroy a few of these other rocks. Trying to mess with our ships. Alright, and... Let's see, can I shoot you? Come on. Alright. There we go. <laughs> it's always so messy looking as you try to figure out like, okay, what can I shoot? What can I not shoot? Shields are holding up wonderfully. Groks are still attacking. Let's fly over to this one. Oh, it's one of the big ships. Boom. All right, I think that's everybody. No time for talk, only mission. All right, good, good, good. But yes, oh, it's actually kind of serendipitous that we're getting a little bit of money during this whole event because it is going to be time to buy out several empires from our allied peoples pretty soon. We have three planets, three planets that are up for grabs. Oh, I didn't realize there was still a whole a whole platoon here. Hey you, back off. Probably shouldn't have wasted that on you, but oh well. There we go, the Groks have finally left the planet, that's better. But yeah, we've been so busy just trying to like keep the Groks at bay and they're really cranky and all right, let's pick some of these up. <gasps> Look, it's little slugs! It's some of the Kronos, the fussy, fussy little slugs. Let's pick some of them up. It's been a while. Let's see, did I get some of them? Yeah, oh, the Pomple even! Oh, my little Pomple. But yes, it's been very busy. The Groks are infringing on more and more of our territory. And it's just going to take forever to eradicate them because they take up so much room. Oh, we just got gear canyons. I wonder if we should use them right here. Hmm. Let's see. Gear, gear seas, plateaus, rivers, walls, canyons. All right, let's put a canyon right here. Why not? Hopefully we're not disturbing any of the local wildlife. Ooh. It looks like a ship ran over it. Like a really, really, really big ship. All right, well, that's interesting. But yeah, it is time to actually go and buy out some other empires. It's so busy. Every time I think we're going to be able to make progress on either working the trade systems, like over here, the Grand Council has decided that our trade route has developed to its full potential. Perhaps you would care to purchase Capera so that we can concentrate on other priorities. I hear you, dude. I hear you on the concentrating on other priorities bit because I feel like we're always running around. As soon as I finally decide, yeah, let's focus on this, then something else happens. But let's go ahead. Let's see. Will they take five million? Yeah, good. We saved ourselves quite a bit of money there. But yeah, this is just a, a T3 planet, but it doesn't really have a lot in it. It's not a very profitable system. And the reason that we're actually putting money into it is pretty much... Oh, is there treasure here? There's a treasure, there's a treasure. Where is it hiding? It's pretty much just to control more. Oh, there it is. Oh, we're out of room. What? Oh, well, look, we can put down some herbivores. So let's put this little hiding away. There you go, hiding away. I want to pick up more of those guys later. There we go. We found the little bed dead fish on a little non-living rock for the collection of ten rare fossils. Ooh, interesting. But yes, every time, like I keep saying, that I think we'll be able to focus on one thing, like fighting the grocs, or exploring, or um, just like buying out planetary systems from our neighbors, then more drama happens! And we're off again! Oh, there's the little nookies! This is a species that we uplifted. Oh, speaking of uplifting, we still need to go back to that old planet and uplift it. So let's get- oh my gosh, I didn't realize I had so many trade routes active at the same time. That's green spice. Okay, let's do the green and purple spice first. Purple spice is the most important because it sells for the most. All right, this is a T1 planet, so they're probably going to be okay with just this. Yes! All right, so we just bought this purple spice planet through diplomatic trade. Wonderful. We'll take care of it in just a little bit. And let's see if I can manage to wiggle these other two out. 
The profits from our trade route are beginning to send disruptive vibrations that are threatening to cancel our non-materialistic spiritual per perfection. You can help us advance to the next plane by purchasing the Rico system once and for all. And this one, green spice, green spice, green spice, yellow spice, we might need to pay more for. But let's see what the quality of the planet is. Oh good, it's only a T2. We might get away for only another 5 million. Yes, we did it! Look at all the new planet systems that are just coming under our control. And hopefully that means we'll be able to get this planet from these guys. And then we'll be totally broke and need to work on that. Oh, this is a T0. Jeez. Thank you for receiving me. Oh, can I not buy from you? <gasps> oh, I love the little embassy. All right, goodbye. Purchase system. There we go. What about three million? Yeah, that was a magnificent offer in their opinion. Oh, look, the little planet's shaking. I hope it's not about to, like, explode. Ooh, Economics 5 badge. All right. There, so we just bought out, like, a ton of planets. That's awesome. And we should probably start upgrading them pretty soon. But first, I want to run back over to that planet that we were trying so hard to uplift. It was way, way, way over here way over here. I, I wonder if we're even going to be able to find it again. Ooh, that's a that's a tricky thing. There's the Woohoo Tiams. I love it. Isn't this just beautiful? Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, there's always that moment playing this game whenever it's so busy and I just have that sense of complete beauty and relaxation for just a moment where everything slows down and I can kind of just focus on what we're doing. All right, so let's see. So many unexplored places. Will we ever find that place that we were looking at again? Oh, and there's a little, little system here. There's pink spice over here. Who knows? I, I don't remember where it was. Was it this one? Was this the little spot that we were trying to settle? I could have sworn it was a yellow star. No, this is an unclaimed T1. And I was so close to uplifting that little empire. Oh my goodness. I know they had an uplifted empire next to them. Look at how untouched so much of this is. Oh, we can explore and explore and explore. Oh my gosh. Alright, well first things first. Okay, these are the Wuhutiums. Maybe it was closer to this area. Because I think it was closer to one of our zones. Like Lutor, was that it? Maybe a yellow that I'm thinking of was the yellow spice. Oh, maybe this is it. <gasps> you guys, I think this is it. Oh, thank goodness. It is, it is. It has the little glowing slugs. Oh, thank goodness. We found it again. I really didn't think we'd be able to. It's so hard to find these things. But we have a medium plant we can add in. There. And now the T-score is stabilized. I'm so happy. All right, good. So now we can put down. Let's dig out some herbivores. Oh, look at the little babies. They're so cute. The frill neck lizard would make an amazing herbivore. Let's put that guy down here. And let's see, we have a couple carnivores already. We have many, many carnivores actually. We might need to make a carnivore uh, wildlife retreat somewhere around here. Oh, but this beautiful bird species, that's a good one for here. And what carnivore? I don't wanna put down the conch actually. So we'll go ahead, we'll say that we'll release them elsewhere. Cough, cough. Um, a fant for the omnivore? There we go, all right. So now let's find where the glowing slug species is and let's uplift them. If I have the uplifting ability, do I have it? We've got one monolith. So we have exactly one. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that, look at all of them. It's all just so pretty. And we sculpted this ourselves. So we picked what we put down here and what's going to live and thrive here. That's what I love about this game. All right, so let's explore. If I was a spacefaring race, that was, that's what I would do all the time. There they are. So there's some of the glowing slugs and right at their feet. Oh, look at how 
cute they are. We're gonna put the monolith. There. So now we should be able to leave them, come back later. I wanna grab a couple more just in case to put them on other planets. But now we should be able to leave them and we will come back later and find that they are uplifted. They will take over this planet and spread throughout the galaxy as our allies. So that's wonderful there. Ah, that's much better. But you know what? I think the idea... Oh! I'm not getting involved in your interplanetary politics. Sorry, sir. But I think the idea of putting down a wildlife reserve is actually a good idea. So let's come over to our Pink Spice Satuna planet. Or purple, excuse me. Purple Spice planet. Can I trade anything useful? Big dead fish on little non-living rock. Anthropologists take great interest in this particular find. The artifact proves that fish from ancient times were actually used as rocks. Uh, actually used rocks as beds in order to be more comfortable while sleeping. After a hard day of swimming, jumping, and not being caught, it was vital that the fish <laughs> of the fish for days gone by to get their eight hours of REM sleep every evening. Um, the, this particular example was obviously an elderly fish who quietly passed in the night. Oh, that's funny. All right, let's go ahead and sell that. I hope these guys have good defense. But I think... Let's check out Astus and see the quality. Let's check these three plants because I think I want to put a wildlife reserve around here. All right, this one already has a couple herbivores. So that bodes well. Let's give them a good little scan and see what they are. All right. I want my radar on. Let's scan them. Oh, a little swoon! That's definitely a type of, of slug, if you ask me. So let's pick those up. And then let's continue searching for the new, the other new herbivore. I love finding new creatures. And I do have exciting news, you guys. After we... Ha oh, no! It's an Imo planet! Okay, well, to preserve the natural habitat... Ugh, ugh! I hate the eyeball plants. To preserve... Oh my gosh, I hate these plants. <sighs> okay, and a guard dock. Okay, we're good. So, to preserve the natural habitat ugh, of um, those slugs and the eyeball nasty things, we won't settle on that planet. So let's check the other two. We can terraform the other two if they don't have eyeballs on them. Yuck eyeballs. Oh, I like the looks of this one. This is kind of almost Jurassic Park-ish-esque-ish -ish sort of planet. I really like the look of it. Yeah, this looks like a cool planet that we could put down a bunch of carnivores. Oh, the Quarber Empire is losing interest in your alliance. <gasps> and look at this. I mean, this is amazing. Yes, let's turn this planet into... Um... Oh, and Crean will be fine. Let's turn this planet into the wildlife reserve. Do we have the tools for it? I need to raise the... Oh, and it's called Nices. That's really cool. Let's see. Creature Tweaker. Yeah, we do have the Wildlife Sanctuary ability, but I think we need to raise the Terra Score first so that we can make this a safer place for all the animals. Let's go ahead and put down a medium plant. There we go. And then we want to warm this place up a little bit. Let's see. Heat Ray. Get back, Snow. We need grass to spread everywhere. We do need some herbivores on this planet. I think we do at least. Pretty sure. I think raising the T-score the should be like one of our first steps. Look at the grass spread. Oh, I love it. Crane, why did you get things stolen from you? You are such a silly planet. We might have to go back to the home world and tidy things up because that's Crane. There we go. Look at the grass start to spread. Oh, I love it. All right, let's put down a small plant. And, whoops. What? Oh, I forgot to put down the animals. Oh, that's so silly of me. All right, well, let's put down a spoon, a little herbivore. One of these purple guys. Oh my gosh, she's so cool. The purple solstice. Uh, how about a fan? I have a feeling these guys are gonna be like the main part of the food chain, unfortunately. And let's put down a small plant. Um, I kind of want to keep the green theme, like the dark green plants. And what about a good medium plant? In fact, we are going to keep the, the, the theme. Because this is an opportunity to preserve a wild area for forever and ever. So let's zip over here and see what kind of plants this planet has. It's a very purple planet. 
<laughs> oh goodness, yeah, this isn't gonna help the green theme at all. Oh my gracious. We will get those little mushrooms though. I think the mushrooms will help. Some small plants, there we go. So yeah, we got a small plant and I guess we could put down some of the other, um, like we need two herbivores that could go here. So swoon, swoon looks like they will fit in perfectly here. And let's put down you. There we go. And now the whole planet's been increased in quality a little bit. Okay, so we at least have a mushroom. Let's check this planet for any useful trees. Oh, these are not bad, actually. Not bad at all. Okay, let's go ahead and leave um, this medium plant. Yay, stabilize the terror score. And let's go ahead and grab a couple of these. So one of these. Put down the urts to put down on the other area. And where's the small plant? Is that a small plant? No, that must be a rock. Are you sure that's a rock? They look like small itty bitty little plants to me. It says it's a small itty bitty little plant. Oh, cargo is full. Durr, that's why it won't let me pick this up. Alright, well let's go ahead and release... Um... Man, we're holding on to so many carnivores right now. Erdok. Let's go ahead and release these. Pick this up. The mump. I like it. It's adorable. There we go. <laughs> it's so much fun. It's so much fun. Let's finish off this wildlife reserve because the plan is to dump all of the extra animals. Look at how beautiful this is, by the way. Oh, wow. All right, medium plant, medium plant. Mushrooms. Look at the mushrooms spread everywhere. Oh, that's amazing. And let's go ahead and there it is. The little urts. Yeah, that'll fit in here just fine. Stabilize the T-score as a result. And now we need to put down another herbivore set. There we go, the little frilled neck lizard, which is absolutely amazing. And looks like it'll fit in perfectly here. And there's an eggy. Look at all the trees pop up. I love it. And let's go ahead and put down this, like, scorpion thing. Because it's awesome. There. So that has improved this planet even more. Oh, it's looking so good. Our little natural wilderness. I wonder if I want to improve it again. Oh, dang it. The grocs are attacking. Footnote! I wonder if I want to do... Terra score three because I love the colors of it now, but I think it can hold. Um, I think it can hold more animals if we have it at a third Terra score. I'm not sure. Oh gracious me! All right, coming, coming, coming. Footnote: I'm coming. Grocks everywhere. I wonder if it is actually possible to defeat them entirely. Is that is that even possible? All right, let's use energy mega pack. Turn on our shield, and let's go take care of these guys. Alright, so that one's gone. Down you go, little guy. Very nice of you to say hello, but this is ridiculous. Do I not have... Oh, no, footnote! Do I not... Do I really not have... Alright, there's that. Managed to get all of them in one hit. I don't think I have one of my little... Oh, no, there he is. Yeah, my uber turret. He's here. There. Uber turret's helping out. He was just overwhelmed. He had a lot to do. Poor little uber turret. There we go. And now the grocs are off the planet. So that's good. And actually, this is a good place to pick up uh, some more nice plants. You know, that's the thin all priority right there. <laughs> oh, the grocs are attacking. No need to worry. Let's just gather up some nice plants. And let's swap out for some of these. Let's see. Um, I like that little mumple. We have eggies on the other plant now, so we'll release them here. Same with the frill neck lizards. And then we'll come into the forest and massively abduct everybody. Oh, the magma lumar is in there. I forgot about that. Oh, he's so cool. All right, herbivore, omnivore, herbivore, carnivore, the spoochy notch, which we don't we don't actually need him right now. 
something else. Oh, look at them run. They're so cute. Come here, you guys. There we go. Whoops. Cargo hold is full. Incoming transmission. That should be fine. All right. Sorry about the distractions of the Gronks. And let's go back and finish up that little wildlife thing that we're working on. And then we can try to help out our allies and figure out our next move. And I think it might be exploration. Because we are pretty soon going to install an amazing mod called Forgotten Spore that will drastically change the game forever. And it will add so many new aspects to every level of Spore. And we're going to start with a new species, but hopefully be able to come back to our Finna. They will be even more powerful with more tools, cargo space, special items. And hopefully that means that they will be able to do some pretty amazing things. Defeat the Groks, push them back. Oh my gosh, instant ocean. But we're going to spend a little bit more time exploring with our beautiful Finna in this beautiful universe. And probably when we hit closer to 100-ish episodes is when we will install Forgotten Spore, the mod, and see what it can do for our worlds. For the entire universe. Alright, look at this. Oh, so pretty. Alright, and we're going to put down this little plant. And where's our gin tree? I know it's around here somewhere. Gin, there it is. Nice. Nice. And then an apple dash. Good. All right, Terra score is stabilized. Let's go ahead and put down this really weird little color cosmic slug. Awesome. And this adorable little guy. Awesome. And the glowing slug. Also awesome. Wonderful. So now we have a full Terra score on this planet, and we can come over here. And let's go ahead. And where is? It'll be under social. And now let's make this into a wildlife sanctuary. There we go. There you go, little guys. So now they will hopefully be safe and sound. We won't have to worry about any of the little animals uh, like disappearing forever because we can just put down a good selection of all of the, the little carnivores. I'm saying we're putting them all down that we've collected. Let's go ahead and clear that one out. And then, yeah, you're down here already. So I'm saying we are not permanently destroying the cargo as much as we're relocating all of these animals to this, this planet. All right, here's the Shashka. Let's give them some of their own space. They look freaking amazing, like little dragons of some type. All right, we're gonna make lots and lots of space. So we can go on some pretty big adventures. There you go, little cosmic. Look at the little frill dragons. They're like, run for it. They're so cute. All right, and it looks like that is all of the creatures. So we're good. We can actually also clear out some of these plants. And we're going to start totally fresh and go on some pretty awesome adventures. Finally trying to explore the gap area between our two little corners of the galaxy that we have managed to settle. We're going to see if we can get back to where the home planet and its area is and hopefully leave some pretty awesome little little like colonies behind us as we go. But we're going to start totally fresh, sell off our cargo, and just see what we can find. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.